In this video, you're going to learn how to calculate the change in entropy for an ideal gas that undergoes a reversible and adiabatic expansion. And to do that, we're going to go through this practice problem. I'm going to give you the answer and explain what's going on. So let's see, what is going on? Well, we have this expansion of a gas, and it's convenient to think of the gas as being in a cylinder, as being in a cylinder fitted with a piston here. And because it's expanding, it's pushing on the piston. The gas is pushing on the piston. And to do that, it performs work. So the molecules are moving, they're banging into the piston, they're banging into the piston, they're losing kinetic energy, and that kinetic energy loss is going into this work here, this energy transfer, this work. And when that happens, the piston expands, of course. Uh, the piston expands and there's more there's more room for the gas to move around in here. Now this is an adiabatic process which means there's no heat transfer between the system and the surroundings. So there's energy lost from the system, it's losing energy in the form of work and there's no energy coming in as, as heat, it's not being transferred as heat. So Q for an adiabatic process is zero and based on our thermodynamic definition of entropy, we can plug that in and get zero as well. But first let's integrate this. So from some, some initial to some final state here, this just gives us the change in entropy for the system. If there's no subscript, it means it's for the system. And this just becomes Q. So the energy transferred is heat during the process, which is zero during an adiabatic process. So the change in entropy for the system for a reversible adiabatic process is zero. And then the same thing for the surroundings as well. It has to be zero. Now the change in entropy for the surroundings is negative Q over T because energy lost by the surroundings is gained by the system. These are equal and opposite. The energy as heat goes from the surroundings into the system, so it's the same energy, it's just equal and opposite. Negative means the surroundings lost it or gained it, depending on if Q is positive or negative. Anyways, there's no there's no Q, there's no energy being transferred as heat, so this is just zero. So the change in, en en the change in entropy of the surroundings is zero. And similarly, the change in entropy total equals the change in entropy of the surroundings plus the change in entropy of the system Oh, I don't need a subscript there. Change in entropy of the surroundings plus change in entropy of the system. That's just zero as well. So there's no change in entropy during this process.